Hello, Shiners, and welcome back to another episode of SNN with Dennis Saylor and Isabel Davis. Today is Tuesday, December 4th. Let's start out with our lunch brunch. Hi, I'm Sandy Cheeks, and today is December 4th. Tomorrow's lunch will be Cincinnati style chili, paschetti, green beans, cucumbers, fruit, and milk. Delicious! Yum! Now back to the studio. Howdy ho, Shiners. Today's December 4th, and I'm Tanner Peters here with today's birthdays. Avery Potts, Scott Bennett, and Samuel Smeeks. Happy birthday. Now back to the studio. Mmm, let me some chili. Let's slide over to the National Day. What's up, Shiners? It's Lexi with the National Day. Today is December 4th, National Cookie Day. Now let's be honest, who doesn't love a good chocolate chip cookie? Cookies arrived in America in the 17th century. Macaroons and gingerbread cookies were among the popular early American cookies. Make sure to pick some cookies up at your local bakery today. Shiners, now back to the studio. That's interesting. Now over to the weather. Hey Shiners, today is December 4th. Today's weather is cloudy with a high of 39 degrees and a low of 29 degrees. Did you know that you can tell the temperature by counting a cricket's chirps? Have a good day Shiners, now back to the studio. Wow. Now over to the word and quote of the day. Hola, it's Cindy, and today's quote is, It always seems impossible until it's done, which is by Nelson Mandela, who was a political leader and an anti-apartheid revolutionary. Now over to Ethan. Ethan, we're here with your word of the day. Today's word is floxanasana hilipilification. The definition of this word is the action or habit of estimating things worthless, and the origins is Latin. An example of this word is when the South lost the Civil War, their money became a floxanasana hilipilification since no one can spend it anywhere. Now back to the studio. Hi, I'm Shibatel with the National News. On this segment of SNN, I'll be bringing you the biggest news stories every day. On Friday, in an earthquake in Alaska that was a 7.1 on the Richter scale violently shook the ground. This earthquake was one of the most powerful on the Richter scale in, United, in the United States. Now there is a tsunami warning in effect because of this massive earthquake. The earthquake hit the southern areas of Alaska, including the cities of Fairbanks and Badger. Unfortunately, $331 million of damage was caused by this horrible earthquake. Also, George H.W. Bush, our 41st president, died on Friday night at the age of 94. George H.W. Bush served only a one term through 1989 through 1993. Now for a special interview with Mr. Ryle. Hi, my name is Faith Elman and today we're interviewing Mr. Ryle. Mr. Ryle, what should kids do if they see a needle on school grounds? Okay, what, what Ms. Elman is referring to is a needle, a syringe, uh, you could call it a lot of different things. If you spot one of these, do not touch it. Contact me immediately and I can come, I have surgical gloves that I can wear. Do you have any idea why you shouldn't touch this? Because you can get an infection from it and it, and it, it can make you very ill. Okay, that is true. You could get an infection from it. The biggest danger, however, is that these are commonly used for people that use drugs, such as heroin and methamphetamines. They mix chemicals with the heroin especially called fentanyl and carfentanyl and the contact from those drugs just on your fingers could kill you. So please, if you see one of these, do not pick it up. Let me know and I'll take care of it. Thank you. Congratulations, good Twitter word winners. That's all we have for today on SNN. See you tomorrow.